The Stewart Light Tank Series. The story of this tank family began with the M2 light tanks, created in the mid-30s of the last century. By the end of the decade, this vehicle, with its twin turret configuration and array of machine guns, was already pretty outdated. By the time the war started in Europe, the military deemed its design completely obsolete. In order to bring the vehicle up to date, the tank was fitted with a 37mm long barrel gun and a new armor configuration. This variant was called the M2A4. In War Thunder, it's a reserve tank found at BR 1.0. The top brass approved the improved design, and a few years of hard work later, in 1941, the US military finally got the proper successor of the M2, coming with even better motorization and armor. The new tank was called the M3 Stuart, paying homage to Civil War Confederate General J.E.B. Stuart. The M3 sits at BR 1.3. Its 37mm gun has a high fire rate, has a depression of minus 10 degrees, and comes with a vertical stabilizer, which is a pretty unusual thing at early ranks. The tank is powered by a Continental radial aircraft engine, allowing it to reach the speed of 50 kph and with ease. In other words, it's a very mobile machine. Just keep in mind that the M3 can do only 6 kph when going in reverse. The upper part of its front is protected by sloped armor that is 16 mm thick. The lower part is covered by 44 mm of armor. That's enough to survive hits from some low-caliber cannons and machine guns. But you won't be tanking most shots coming your way, especially because most of your modules and crew members can be taken out with a single hit. In 1942, a new model was introduced, the M3A1. It featured a new turret with no cupola on it and got access to a wider range of rounds to use. Apart from a standard M3A1, there is also a premium variation of this tank in the game, the one belonging to the USMC. Tanks like that were the first M3A1s that saw actual combat. The M5 is one of the latest Stuart variants in the game. The M5A1 can be found in both the American and the Chinese tech trees. It came with a brand new welded hull with frontal armor sloped at a favorable angle. Furthermore, aircraft engines which burned through fuel really fast were replaced with twin Cadillac V8 automobile engines. This Stuart variant also got a new transmission, allowing it to drive at almost 15 kph in reverse. In the game, the M5A1 has access to the active scouting mechanic, making it a very effective reconnaissance vehicle, which is very fitting given that it often has to face enemies with superior armor that can't be easily penetrated in frontal assault with its 37mm gun. By the way, in the Chinese tech tree, there is yet another Stuart variation, the M3A3. Performance-wise, it's almost identical to the M5, and it also comes with sloped armor. But it is outfitted with an improved turret of a more modern design. Even though the US Army didn't have much use for this model, other countries employed them to great success. Due to the fact that there were so many Stuarts made, the tank became a popular platform for several tank destroyer designs. Take a look, for instance, at the M8 Scott, developed on the chassis of an M5 and armed with a 75mm howitzer. Its heat rounds have around half a kilo of explosive mass each, and it takes the gun only a bit more than three seconds to reload, meaning that most opponents at its BR can be dealt with in seconds. What's the catch, you might ask? There is no stabilizer, so you'll have to get used to a rather wobbly gun. And howitzers aren't the easiest guns to use to start with. All in all, it's harder to snipe on the M8 than on earlier Stuarts. 
There's also a vehicle developed on the chassis of a Stuart that can be a real threat to significantly more modern designs. We're talking about the M8A1 gun motor carriage, a rare gift tank destroyer armed with the same 75mm long barrel gun as the early Shermans. This gun packs enough punch to pen a T-34 right from the front. The crews of the humble M3 Stuart never even dreamed of such firepower. But here it was. In reality, the experimental M8A1 was soon overshadowed by a more successful design, the Hellcat. But you can still enjoy riding it to battle in War Thunder. Light tanks of the Stuart family played a very important role in the history of the tank industry. They are the most mass-produced light tanks of all time, with more than 23,000 vehicles built during World War II. 23,000! A worthy successor arrived only in 1944, when the first M24 Chaffee went into service. So come on, what are your favorite Stuarts? What's the vehicle that you've had the most amount of luck with? Tell us which one is the most underrated one. And then tell us what you think in the comments below. We do need your responses.